The Dark Order are in the ring to welcome their friend Hangman Page, the new AEW champion. And I didn't realize this until he came out, but this show happened to be in his home state of Virginia. Yeah. Dude, we've known forever this show was going to be in Virginia. And going into the Full Gear weekend, there were still people going, Oh, I'm not sure if Hanger's going to win this one. I think that they may they may keep it on Kenny Omega. And it was like, first off, the timing. The guy's failed so many times. He needs to win. There's like no doubt about it. But I mean, what did you think was going to happen? He was going to lose and then come out as a loser in his hometown? Of course he was going to win. Once, once I knew that they were Dynamite was going to be in Virginia, I actually up until that point had thought that he was going to lose. Oh. Nope. I know. No. Hope you didn't bet. Didn't make any wagers no. on Well, that. no, because he found out they were here, so of course he didn't bet. I made bet before that. Smartened up. So yeah. they bring out Hangman, and I don't mean to alarm you, but he was popular. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't usually... I, I know Hangman's got a funny graphic for or a funny tagline for his Chiron every time he comes out. I don't usually pay attention to it, but I'm sure it's funny all the time. But came out here and just says, unnecessary cheap pop. <laughs> I laughed. So he cuts a promo, but the crowd's saying, uh, uh, you deserve it. And he says, no, no, I didn't deserve it. I earned it. They chant, you earned it. So I'm still a man with a job, but I still have a boss. That boss is you. The belt comes with responsibility. That means I have to face the American Dragon. So out comes Brian Danielson to interrupt. Did you guys notice they made a change to his music? They have added I the, guess. you're going to get your fucking head Oh, yeah, chant. yeah. <laughs> I heard at the very end, and actually we don't even know if it's added, because it might have always been there. And I'm pretty they just sure. played it really, like, a long time through here. But yeah, at first I thought it was the crowd chanting that. Then I realized it was in the music. The no wrestling fan has this kind of rhythm. Yes. Know? So he also congratulates Paige and shakes his hand and then says, I uh, have These to people know it's been there all along, Vinny. Sorry. Ban them. <laughs> Pay attention. Ban them immediately. Uh, he says, I have to admit, Danielson says, I am surprised and disappointed that I'm not standing here across from Kenny Omega. And now the crowd's upset. Uh, they're already upset with this Danielson fucker. And uh, Paige notes, well, I did. But I guess I'm here because I beat him and I beat him in less than 30 minutes. And everyone goes, ooh. So they go back and forth a bit, and Danielson says, you won't be wrestling anyone dressed as a Ghostbuster. I guess cowboy shit doesn't involve wrestling, because I wrestle every week. You just come here and talk. I won the world title at WrestleMania and wrestled the next day. Now the crowd really hates him. Oh, my God. The mention of WrestleMania. Yes. <laughs> and then they he, were furious And this guy. he is gleeful as he kneels them. Of course Virginia boos hard work. Now they hate him. Just a masterpiece. So he says, uh, Paige says we can do it right now. And Dan says, well, I am dressed to wrestle, but you're not. You've got tight jeans on and a stupid leather vest. I know you've got plenty of excuses for all your failures. I don't want you to have another excuse when I beat you. And Paige says we can still fight. And they go nose to nose. They're separated. And there are several thousand people chanting, let them fight. And Danielson gets a mic and says, they're, they're holding you back because they know I'd kick your ass. So Paige charges forward. They finally brawl. This was so great. And Brian Danielson, who, like, I already knew he was, like, one of the best wrestlers I've ever seen. He's better every segment. Without any kind of uh, 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 illogical character switch, he's the same guy he was the first day he walked into this company. He just... Started needling the other the, the, the guy they like instead of the people they hate, and he's now the top heel in the company instantly. He is amazing. He is a genius. Yeah, and you know what? He's he's doing what he wants. And uh you know, when he left WWE, he did all of those interviews and he just talked about how much he loved WWE and how he thought Vince was a genius and all of this and that. And like every time I hear these promos, I'm like, You are so smart. What in the fuck are you talking about? And I wonder if at this point he's rethinking his own thoughts. Because this Brian Danielson, since he showed up on day one, is like a billion times better than Daniel Bryan ever was. Like, maybe the one day when he won that title at WrestleMania in 2014, he was like, uh, I, I shouldn't say a bigger star, but I mean, the My character yeah. and the work and yeah. the ability to do the promos and like everything. It's multiples of, of Daniel Bryan. And it's been like two months now or something like that. So he's fucking great. And they did a tremendous job 
of doing this segment without an authority figure to disallow the match. There's no authority to figure to say you can't do it. So Hangman has to basically not fight in his hometown, even though the fans want him to. But the way that they pulled it off, and then Danielson finally, when they when when Hangman finally gets his hand on him, Danielson's the one who flees, and they actually did a a, a fantastic job with with what they had here, and I loved it. Any thoughts, I'm, Steve? I'm uh, I'm actually looking forward to this heel run because, like you were saying, Brian. Anything he did in WWE, I I couldn't get behind. And when he came in as a face to AEW, it was still hard to get behind as well. But I loved his promo. And I'm really looking forward to this slow build to the match with Hangman Page. You know who he reminds me of is the Young Bucks. In the sense that they were baby faces in this company for like a year and a half. And they had great matches and everything like that. But... They're a million times better as heels. And Absolutely. I love babyface Brian Danielson, but, like, as a heel, he's a billion times better. He was so fucking... Hey, where's... Was not it Was it Craig that said that we need to put Brian Danielson into the Hall of Awesome, and <laughs> I said I need a reason for it? Yeah. <laughs> well, too bad he's not here, because guess what? I hereby announce that Brian Danielson has been inducted into the Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Steve, you get a vote, too. You paid for it. Aye. Uh, my vote will be an aye after we review the, review the match. All right, go for it. Because this is just even more reason to put him in there. Oh, absolutely. It's Brian Danielson versus Evil Uno. And they start wrestling around, and they're just doing some stuff. And then Evil Uno throws a chop. And I've seen a lot of no-selling badasses. In pro wrestling matches, no cell chops. I don't think I've ever seen anyone show disdain like Brian Danielson did for Evil Uno, who, Evil Uno here for trying to hurt him with a chop like this. And he slaps the piss out of this maxed fatty, just sends him down to the mat, and is just beating the piss out of him. And it gets to the point. And it, it, it's, I don't know if, uh, it's probably not a coincidence, but Ross is going to his rant about how Danielson's been told for like 20 years now he's too small to do this. Like Brian Danielson's a pretty small pro wrestler, smaller than most guys he works with. He is much smaller here than Evil Uno, but somehow, even though he is smaller, he's so scary he's bullying them. You feel bad for Evil Uno that he's in there with an unfair fight with this a dragon, American dragon, Brian Danielson, just beating the fuck out of him. He's a brilliant bully, this Brian Danielson. It's glorious watching the glee he has as he destroys people. And Uno makes a comeback. There was a great point he was making this comeback. He's like, there's like four big strikes and, the ro and a rolling elbow. But Danielson eats the four strikes and then hits his own rolling elbow before Uno can hit his because he's bigger and, or he's not bigger, he's better and faster and smarter. And he beat Uno in his own game. And Uno tries the senton, but Danielson gets the knees up and he hits the knee strike, but he's not satisfied. He's angry Brian Danielson now and he declares to the camera he is going to get his fucking head kicked in and he grabs Uno's hands and he does the curb stomps of death like a dozen of them and Uno's out like the match is won I was actually kind of hoping they would do ref stoppage via stomps but Danielson did put on a uh, no this was a million times better he did the uh, uh, Diaz triangle choke with the bicep flex well yeah that was the idea yeah. and Dave was very much hung up on Nick Diaz but here's the deal uh, yes, that was what he was doing. The triangle with the double biceps or the, the the middle fingers or whatever. But he kicked this guy's head in and he killed him. And before the referee had a chance to stop it, he took the man's dead body and put it in a triangle because he's an asshole. <laughs> and then he flexed and wouldn't let go for four seconds. Yep. It was fucking awesome. He, you know, the funny thing is he's wrestled like this from day one as a baby face. Yeah. And like, it's much better as a heel. That, well, that's why, that's why it, it, it's so believable. He would have slide into this top heel role well, with no reason other than he, he's facing the champion and the champion is going to be popular. So, okay, I'll just be a dick now. And it's the same, it's the same Brian Daniels and he's been from, since he arrived in, in the company. So we can all agree that he is now a full-fledged member. I would love to vote for Brian Danielson for the Hall of Awesome. All right, it's official. In the, fact, based uh, on these two segments, I may vote for him twice. Well, you know, we've yeah. done that before, but usually it has to be a second week. Sure. But, uh, yeah. Like, uh, when this is over, I was like, maybe, maybe he is the best wrestler I ever saw. He's 
Brilliant! And this pro wrestling thing. Then, there's more. Shivani goes to interview Danielson, Danielson, who explains that Hangman Page didn't want to fight, and so this man, points to Evil Luno, had his head kicked in. So until I fight Adam Page for the AEW title, whenever and wherever that may be, I'm going to take every member of the Dark Order and kick all their heads in. And next week, we're in Chicago. I hear there's a Dark Order member from Chicago. Colt Cabana, if you've got any nuts, I'm going to kick your head in in Chicago next week. A genius. <laughs> Brian Danielson is a genius at the art of pro wrestling. He sure is, yeah. Oh, God, it's so great. I also love they've turned this is usually the the uh, uh it's a babyface storyline. There's a really heel version of it where you take all the flunkies first to work your way up to the top guy. And that's what Danielson's do it with Adam Page's Friends of Geeks. Yeah. He'll beat he'll beat all of his of friends, friends yeah. and then he'll run to the hangman and the hangman will beat him. Yep. And yeah. then maybe they'll shake hands afterwards and he'll go back babyface. Hopefully he doesn't, but we shall see. This was awesome. Again, maybe it's just